but for most of India's poor, there is another obstacle to overcome. Since ancient times, life in India has been stratified by the caste system, a complex social structure that separates people into distinct groups determined by birth. If you were born into one of the elite, higher castes, you were respected and had many privileges in life. But at the bottom, considered unworthy, were the Dalits, sometimes known as untouchables, because to even touch them was considered unclean. Although comprising nearly a quarter of the population, Dalits were considered to be impure and led segregated lives. They were often banned from temples, schools and the eating places of the upper caste, living on the outskirts of cities and villages. Dalits lived a difficult life, working the least desirable jobs with little hope for change. Your caste would determine who you could marry, the kind of jobs you could do, the level of respect that you could expect to receive or not receive in life. In a way, the caste system was reinforced during British rule because the most desirable jobs were given to those of a higher caste. According to India's constitution, caste prejudice is illegal. But decades of government programs to assist those in lower castes have done little to lessen its social impact. Until now. People come in the city and if they perform well, they get a job. And that person who's giving them the job, he wants to produce results. And he doesn't care about the caste of the person who he employs. The, the way to kill caste is a, a rising, growing, competitive economy. And so, the, amongst the lowest caste, we have now entrepreneurs, billionaires, amongst them. One person whose life has been transformed is Manam Madhusudan Rao, 